what I'm about to show you about your back will surprise you. Did you know that your lower back works just like a hinge? It's this area right about here, and it's the part of your spine that acts as a pivot point when you lift something the wrong way. The amount of force you place on your back during lifting can be enormous. It's why so many people get back injuries and develop bad backs over time. Here's the surprising part. Your back is like a seesaw, but not a normal one. A normal seesaw has the pivot point in the center. With this kind of seesaw, it only takes 10 pounds of pressure to lift a 10 pound object. Your back is like a seesaw, except that the pivot point has been shifted to one side. And when you shift the pivot point to one side, it takes much more force to lift the same object. The area around your waist acts like the pivot point or hinge, but because the pivot point has been shifted, it requires a 10 to one pressure ratio. This means that if you are lifting a 10 pound object, it puts 100 pounds of pressure on your lower back. Now, add in the 105 pounds of the average human upper torso, and if this is how you lift, all bent over with your legs straight, lifting a 10 pound object actually puts 1,150 pounds of pressure on your lower back. No wonder people get bad backs. So save your back and stop using the hinge. Lift like these guys do because they take safety to the limit. Take a balanced stance, feet shoulder width apart like a shortstop. Squat down to lift and get as close to the load as you can. Get a secure grip, hug the load, tighten your abdominal muscles and take a deep breath. Lift gradually using your legs, keeping your elbows in to hold the load close to you and keep your back and neck straight.